Why was I inspired to write the figurine? At the very heart of the story lies an illegally looted antiquity, a cycladic statuette of a woman of extraordinary beauty and rarity. Without doubt, the idea for this novel began in my contemplation and the questioning I always faced in Greece around the sculptures that were hacked off the Parthenon in Athens by the British aristocrat Elgin in the early 19th century. Over the past years, as I plunged myself into reading and research, this brazen theft, not authorised removal, as is so commonly thought and promoted, began to anger me deeply. Just a brief word on that. The violent removal with hammers and hacksaws took more than two years to complete. Elkin had been given permission only to take impressions of the sculptures, and if there were small pieces of rubble that had already fallen to the ground, he could collect them. His intention was not to bring these massive treasures back to Britain for the museum, but to decorate his own new mansion in Scotland with them. By the time he got back to Britain, he was a bankrupt, and it was this that forced him to sell. The British Museum bought them for what was even then a paltry sum for such antiquities, £35,000. The British Museum has held on to them since. Yes, they supposedly legally acquired them, but they were acquiring stolen goods. The cycladic figurine of my story is on a much smaller physical scale, but has huge cultural importance and has almost otherworldly beauty. Artists of the 20th century, such as Picasso and Henry Moore, hugely appreciated these figurines, which they saw in museums, and created work that bore great resemblance in its simplicity. This began to increase the popularity of the figurines, to the point where the desire to possess them massively expanded. One example of a figurine fits $16 million in New York. Consequently, this also meant that theft and looting has increased to satisfy the appetite. The theft of cultural treasures and falsification of how, when and where something was found diminishes our understanding of civilization. Every object illegally removed impoverishes the victim country and is often part of a wider issue of money laundering, drug trafficking, arms trafficking. My question in the book is where something truly belongs and of course this applies to people as well as inanimate objects of value. Like those modern artists, I'm very drawn to the spare, pared down interpretation of womanhood created 5,000 years ago and I'm mesmerised by her beauty. For me she is a goddess, a mysterious goddess. My protagonist, Helena, is similarly entranced. I'd always wanted to take my imagination back to the time of the military junta and explore what lay beneath it. It seemed to be a period when those in power exerted it very often to the detriment of the people. Democracy, something so precious in Greece, was thrown aside. All of this was the inspiration for the novel. The figurine is out on the 28th of September 2023 and is available for pre-order now.